This is just a quick video on um, how to replace uh, or how to defeat the eco mode on a 2016 Honda Odyssey. Um, somebody stopped me in a parking lot a week ago and said, hey, if you have eco mode on your Honda Odyssey, it may be destroying your engine. And I thought he was a lunatic. And then um, maybe four days later, the uh, I got a, a warning about cylinder three misfiring, took the spark plug out and it was all black and disgusting and started reading up more on it. And um, yeah, turns out eco mode may be destroying your engine. So, or at least ours. So um, at any rate, uh, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, overview on how to replace this. We ordered a part from Canada um, that should bypass the engine coolant sensor to make eco mode never come on again. And hopefully it'll restore the function of the engine because if it doesn't, uh, we're looking at like a, you know, five, $6,000 ring repair job. So at any rate, here we go. With a fouled spark plug. It's disgusting, it smells horrible. Okay, just to give everybody their orientation on where this is, here's the engine. Uh, battery is under this cover here. And we're going down to that sensor right there. It's a little hard to zoom in. I'll try to put some stills in here as well with some arrows, but it's not very hard to get to right there. All right. Okay. We've got one end free. You see it down there. It's just white. Um, I was able to figure out how the clip worked by taking the new device. Um, you'll see that there are kind of grippy sides on it. And then on the other side at the top, there's just a lever. Push that with your thumb and then just lift gently and it'll come right off. This is the new device, so you see this connector here at the top that's going to go in where we just took one out. And then the one we just took out from the car is going to connect to that female. Uh, and then this is going to go up to the battery. So that's tiny. I mean, it's the uh, size of my hand. So it's got some zip ties with it. We're going to put that in right now. So I didn't show it in great detail, but down there you can see there's sort of four fins on the receptor um, and they correspond to these guys there's two dents on the side and then there are two uh, on the clip side as well so I'm gonna have the clip side going away from us as I put it into that uh, onto the female side of this okay it's clipped on right now I clipped on super gently really easily I'm uh, kind of amazed at the Honda stuff right now that um, the clips work pretty effortlessly and they're very positive. So if anything takes a lot of force, it's likely that's not the right leverage or the right angle. So you shouldn't have to force too much. It's very much like light thumb pressure on any of these, um, any of these latches. Okay, the next stage of this says to take one of the included zip ties. It comes with four of them. I think we'll use probably two. Um, and you wanna connect all these um, these cable shrouds together. They're, one, this one's cracked, it's part of the original, so I wanna be gentle with that. Uh, this is exposed, and I just don't wanna use any force, any significant amount of force on any of it. So I'm gonna pretty much line these three up instead of being perpendicular to each other, I'm gonna to try to get them to be parallel, um, and then gently take a twist tie or two, uh, enough to kind of hold them in place together. Okay, the zip ties together. The tricky part about this is that um, the way this harness is set up, um, the female is kind of coming out in the exact same angle as the male is supposed to attach. You see these two parts, they're, they're like running side by side and they're, we're gonna have to kind of boomerang them a little bit to get them to connect properly. But I think with a little bit of doing and some gentleness, uh, Hopefully we won't tear any wires loose in the process and uh, they'll connect. Okay, well, that worked out really well. <laughs> um, it's a lot better than I expected it to be. It actually wasn't hard to get them to connect. And the added bonus is that, um, the, you know, there's not a lot of tension on them, um, but it's enough tension to kind of keep them away from anything that's too hot. So you see the little black, controller box that's part of this module and then this new joint with the male and female together um everything is kind of really suspended in a way that uh kind of keeps it away from any heat so um 
That's incredible. Okay, the last last piece of this to get done. Now that we have this in here, it's looking good. Uh, again, uh, one side note about the zip tie too is I, having left it somewhat loose, it's now, I mean, I only probably clicked it five times on the zip tie they gave us. Um, the loop is probably an inch in diameter or something like that. Even still, um, I wouldn't want it much tighter with the way those uh, cables are connected to each other. So anyway, um, next step is to connect the, this lead. This lead needs to go to the nut on the battery terminal. Now we're not taking the entire connection off, but we're gonna take that nut off and we're gonna put the um, lead underneath the nut and then put the nut back. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting to that nut, so I'm just gonna remove this. And this is a little pop-up plastic clips and take this uh, air intake off. It comes off really easily after that. Okay, that's it. It's on there. Uh, nut is back on, close it up. Oh, neat. Can't close this up. Uh, it doesn't like that. There's no clearance. <laughs> ah, shoot. Okay, I think this might work a little bit better. I've bent it, uh, not bent it, but I've just loosened this, tightened it back while this is oriented backward toward the post. And then with this little cover, it will actually slide down behind the hinge. So now it'll close okay. So I'm gonna tighten that nut up and follow up. Uh, I just took it for a spin and uh, the eco light never came on. So we'll hope that it goes for another hundred or so thousand uh, without that thing wrecking our pistons.